oceans cover almost three quarters of the Earth's surface. They supply oxygen and sustenance. Without them, there'd be no life on Earth. Yet here in the place life began, lie immense quantities of a foreign material. A material used once and discarded. A material that never goes away. Plastic. Six million metric tons end up in the oceans every year. About as much as the world's total production in 1960. Most of it is flushed into the oceans via storm sewers and rivers. Plastic usually doesn't sink. It is lighter than water. And it is not biodegradable. Paper breaks down after a month. Wood and cans can take centuries, but in salt water they eventually biodegrade. And what about plastic? Plastic doesn't decompose. It disintegrates into billions and billions of tiny pieces, which currents carry to the remote corners of the world's oceans. What does this foreign matter do to the marine environment? What effect do millions of tons of plastic have on this fragile ecosystem? Just north of the equator, in the middle of the Pacific, lies Big Island, the most easterly of the Hawaiian Islands. It is a paradise for vacationers, but its idyllic looks can be deceiving. The island has a problem. It's a problem that oceanographer Nikolai Maximenko has been studying for years. Again and again, his work has taken him to Camillo, a beach on the island's southern coast. Here in a cove, at the edge of a vast lava field, great quantities of marine debris have collected ever since people can remember. The locals call it Junk Beach. In earlier times, the beach was known for the giant logs that washed ashore. Logs not native to the island. They had drifted across the ocean for years and mysteriously wound up here. Today it's happening with plastic. Junk Beach is literally that, a garbage dump. This one is cones for hagfish eel traps. They all come from US and Canada west coast. Nowhere else in, in the Pacific they're used. So they're making like uh, two and a half hundred uh, thousand miles to Hawaii. 